Hey horse lovers. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial and informational regarding the hyoid apparatus and the release. So we're going to be talking about what the hyoid apparatus is, how you can do the release, what the purpose is, and what are the benefits that come along with it. I'm going to be using Jiminy Cricket here as my demo horse. He is a pretty relaxed boy, but I think this is really great to do with all horses. So he's gonna be our demo today. So I hope you guys learn something and enjoy. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about what the hyoid apparatus actually is. So the hyoid apparatus is a collection of intricate small bones that connect all the way up to the pole of the horse, the TMJ in the jaw, and that basically is the tongue connecting to everything behind the horse as well. So horses can hold a ton of tension in their hyoid and in their tongue, and they cannot release it themselves. So if there is tension in the hyoid bone and the hyoid apparatus, that is gonna prevent the horse from being able to move properly from biomechanics anatomy wise as well. So if they're holding that tension, that can actually transfer all the way back into the horse, their back, their hindquarters, their forelimbs, their legs, all of that, okay? So it's really important that we pay attention to some of the signs that horses could need a hyoid release. Um, they could be tilting their head to one side. They could have trouble picking up certain canter leads. They can be really off balance. So there's all those different things. And the tongue, again, it connects to everything in the horse's body. So it is a huge thing to be able to pay attention and help to relieve any tension that can build up here. So this is something super simple that you can do to help your equine and to help them feel as relaxed as possible. Okay, now we're gonna discuss a little bit as to why it's really important to make sure that we relieve tension in the hyoid. So obviously I went over a few things of like the issues that can be presented, but a really big thing that releasing the hyoid can do is it can relieve tension and bring on relaxation. So if you have a horse that's really tense or they have trouble focusing or relaxing, then this release can really help them to focus and feel calm. And I think that's just something that's really important to do with your horse on a daily basis for the most part. Um, another thing is it can, again, anatomy and biomechanics wise, it can really help them to kind of relieve that tension and so that it can build fluidity throughout their body so that they can give you the performance and move their body properly. Um, there's so much that goes into these horses as far as, you know, we see issues and we just assume it's training. Well, there's so much more that goes into it. So if this sim super simple thing that you can do can help your horse and help them to move better and feel more comfortable, I think it's really good to do. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about how we do the hyoid release. Okay, so when we're doing the hyoid release, we wanna make sure that we're really gentle because obviously we're going into our horse's mouth and that can be some really sensitive tissue. Sorry, there's like a bee flying around, but anyways. Okay, so there's a few different ways you can do it. These are the few ways that I do it. So the first one, you wanna be really careful with this. Um, and you know, you don't want them to kind of like bite down on your hands. So you need to be really careful when you do this. But I'm basically gonna go up on his gum. The whole point of this is so they can move their tongue and mobilize their jaw. And some horses um, really like it and some are kind of like, ah. So I'm just, I'm not pushing, I'm just setting my hand there so that he can move his jaw. And there we go, a nice little stretch and that he can mobilize his tongue. Okay, and I do this for about five to 10 seconds and he's stretching out good, so I'm gonna give. So that was really good. And see, he's moving his tongue, his mouth. It's really important that horses do that so that they can release that tension. Yeah, he's a good boy. And get all relaxed, very good, very good. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another way that we do it. So it depends on your horse, but you, I would start with probably going to this side and basically what you're gonna do is stand to the side. <laughs> you're gonna put your hand, your thumb behind their incisors, which I will show you closer up and just kind of gently massage behind there, okay? And some horses you can do it at the same time. Some you will not be able to do this with and I'm gonna show you the other angle so you see exactly where. Um, he doesn't love this as much, but yeah, you want to be careful because obviously you don't want their head to like hit you. 
Okay, so the other method, um, again, I'm gonna show you standing here. So you see his incisors? You wanna put your thumb, you wanna gently set it right here. And you can either just kind of hold it there at first, and you can stand to the side too, like this if you need to. I'm just gonna stand in front. And you can lightly hold their halter, but you don't wanna like push down or anything, because this is gonna feel funny to some horses at first. <laughs> yup, I know. And I'm just gonna hold my thumb here for now, okay? Do it for five seconds, I'm gonna give him a little break. So now I'm gonna do it where I'm standing here and I'm just gonna gently set my hands in there. You don't wanna press hard under their chin either, but that just kind of stabilizes your hand a little bit. And again, you wanna be really careful if you're standing in front because you don't wanna get whapped in the head. So again, I'm gonna kind of hold his halter. This would be the best way at first, just one side at a time, lightly holding this halter. He doesn't like this as much as he does the upper lip. There we go, that's good. So I do this, you know, I try to do this every day. Um, if Especially if I'm doing like a training session, I'm gonna do this every day. Um, anywhere from five to 10 seconds up to 20 seconds. And you can just do it a couple times. So I'm gonna do this side now. And again, this is gonna promote a lot of relaxation. And this, this isn't gonna hurt your horse, even if they don't have tons of tension, which I mean, most horses do. Um, they need to be able to mobilize their jaw in order to move properly. And I think that's something a lot of people don't recognize. Um, so yeah, just there, he likes this side a lot. Good boy, and now I'm gonna give, okay? So again, you wanna be careful if you're standing in front, but the best way is to hold this halter very lightly on this side, and then, you know, like where you saw before, Get your hand beside the in behind the incisors and then just kind of hold and i'm not you can massage your thumb very gently like kind of like this super soft because again really sensitive tissue but i just kind of hang out because that's just what jiminy prefers and i'm just gonna wait and release good boy good job <laughs> and jiminy is 20 years old and he does a lot, you know, we do the endurance and we do all kinds of trails and stuff. So this is really beneficial to him. You know, I want to keep him healthy as long as I possibly can. <laughs> what, are you bored? Are you bored? Well, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this and that you found it informational and that hopefully this can benefit both you and your horse. The main goal is to keep a happy, healthy, and sound horse throughout their work life and the duration. So I wanna make sure that I'm taking care of my Jiminy no matter what we're doing and that he feels relaxed and sound throughout our time together. So <laughs> are you bored, you ready to go? All right guys, I think he's all done. If you like this, if you could do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button, really appreciate it.